Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to install some um, RAM on my Lenovo Legion laptop. And yeah, this is going to be pretty in-depth because I've done this uh, RAM replacement, unfortunately, many times. So I'm, I pretty much know everything that you need to do. So yeah, let's let's do it. So first things first, we have 11 screws to remove, 1, 2, 3, 4 at the front, they are all short, 5 and 6, I'm pretty sure that they are short as well, we have 1 in the middle, and 1, 2, 3, 4 at the back. Let's um, get their all out, they're all the same Philip head, and I'll get back to you after that. So as I said, I was correct. All of the there were six screws that were short and four screws at, at the and the four screws at the back were the long one, including the one in the middle. Um, yeah. So uh, now we need to take the plastic, and as you can see, we have the plastic rod covering all the I/O, the I/O of this PC. So what we need to do is we need to remove that using a, um, a a guitar pick like or just a solid plastic make sure that if you can that you are using plastic because it would mean that you are putting much less um, damage on your um, parts because you don't really want to hurt the aesthetic of the of the PC so we'll just take the guitar pick we'll put it here and we'll just go around as we try to pry out the plastic. And yeah, after we do that, we'll do all four sides, like we'll, we'll do all three sides, one, two, and three, and we'll be able to lift up the, pla the plastic from the back. With all of the back removed, all you need to do now is just go over the sides as they have some clips as well but if you don't want to do that you can try to just pop the cover out i'll just go with my pick and i'll update when i done that okay so let's remove the back it was simple enough and there is nothing connected to the back nor does it have anything special but let's go over the pc so we have here the both gpu and cpu we have all of the back io we have our dual fans and we have a lot of heat pipes and heat sinks as well um, that basically have everything. We also have a little heat sink over the chipset. We have here our M.2 SSD. We have a hard drive and we have our Wi-Fi card right here. And under this thing, we have the RAM. So again, I'll get a, uh, a plastic prying tool. If you don't have any of that, you can just try to lift it out. As you can see, there are the little clips right here that these are the ones that hold this shroud in place. So just make sure that you remove them safely and you don't really hurt the motherboard. Don't put too much pressure, just enough to lift it out. It shouldn't be that terrible. You can try it with them, although it's a bit more complicated. I'll get back to you once I have, once I have removed that just a little quick example of how I do it I'll just take my plastic and I'll just put pressure and take it out it really isn't that hard yeah and that's it we have uncovered our RAM as you can see I have a full unused slot here so this is where I'm going to install my new um, RAM sticks that I have. So let's go over the RAM installation. All you need to do is take your RAM, insert it in the spot where there is the little thingy, the knob, and just insert it into place like this from the above. And now just push it down. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so unfortunately, both sticks are crucial, but apparently they're this different uh, line. So I wanted to buy a, uh, a matching set, unfortunately I didn't, that kind of sucks, but with the RAM installation both SSD and Wi-Fi card have a really similar installation, all you need is the little screwdriver. 
So if you have that, it is as simple as taking the screw out and installing it the same way instead of having the clips hold the card in place, you have the screw drive doing that. So it's really simple. You really shouldn't have to worry about trying to replace your own um, components in the PC. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye. So just a little update, but as you can see, the PC is running with all 16 gigs of RAM at the correct speed in dual channel. So yeah, everything's working fine.